throws. Miller with three points so far on the night. Can't get the first shot to fall. He will get a second opportunity. Looking to cut into the Blue Devils' three-point lead. Second shot is up and good. One for two from the line for Trent Miller. He has four points. Kicking down under 2.15 to go in the opening quarter. Blue Devils with the basketball on a two-point lead. Shadowen looks to drive. There's contact and a foul called underneath. Will be on James Buchanan. Trent Amsley will be the guilty party. His first foul, second team foul for the Rockets. Greencastle quickly inbounds. Connor Wright, another three, can't get it to fall. Nice rebound pulled down there by Cade Layton. Got good position on Jackson Wright and was able to come away with the defensive rebound. Miller thought about a three, now it comes back to Trent Miller at the top of the circle. Miller guarded by Emerson, goes far wing. Cade Layton high arcing three, misses everything. And Blake Shadowen comes down with the basketball for Greencastle. Shadowen across the timeline comes near side to Eli Sterling. Sterling back to Connor Wright. Wright goes far side to Emerson. Emerson looking inside, drives the paint, gets it back to Shadowen. Inside, jump stop, tough shot there by Shadowen. Had it knocked out of his hands, out of bounds. Last touched by the Rockets. A pair of substitutions for the Blue Devils into the game. Andrew Kearns and Logan Alvey will replace Blake Shadowen and Jackson Wright. Off the inbound play, Sterling had an opportunity, couldn't get it to fall. And a foul by the Blue Devils on the rebound. Elon Sterling will be called for the foul, his first. 120 to go, opening quarter, Greencastle. Led by as many as six. Right now they lead by two. 12-10 the score. Blue Devils. JB with the basketball. Bryce Hissong into the game for the Rockets. That's Garrett Hahn with the basketball now. Comes to Hissong near wing. Hissong looks to drive and he'll be called for the double dribble. Just a little bit of a pause there, but enough to warrant the double dribble call. Turnover back to the Blue Devils. Under one minute to go here in Greencastle. The Blue Devils with the ball leading 12-10. Emerson has an opening drive. Nice pass inside to Kearns. And a nice job there by Emerson finding the open space, getting it to the open man. And Andrew Kearns, who was in double digits against Wes Perry, has his first basket of the night. Puts the Blue Devils up by four. Again, another long three-point shot by Trent Miller. Hissong gets the rebound. Piper lets it go for three. And Jace Piper from the near corner knocks down the three. And the Rockets back to within one. Clock down to 23 seconds to go in the quarter. Alvey looked to drive, and we're going to have an offensive foul called on the Blue Devils. Away from the ball, I think they're going to say Bobby Emerson called for the foul. Didn't see exactly what he did. But the foul will be the second foul on Emerson as Serzano Solomon will check into the game here in the final 15 seconds of the first quarter. Nice pass inside to Hissong. And a charge will be called. And I think that was Logan Alvey that got there to get the charge. Either Alvey or Connor Wright didn't see exactly who was there. But a nice defensive play by the Blue Devils. Takes away the basket for James Buchanan. Now under seven seconds. Alvey, top of the key, three-point shot. Back of the rim won't go. Rebound by the Rockets. And time will expire in the first quarter as Jace Piper let it fly from about 50 feet and hit the front of the rim. Eight minutes of basketball played in Greencastle. Blue Devils led by as many as six. They lead at the break, 14-13. You're listening to Blue Devil Basketball on the FNM Trust Sports Network, midpenbroadcasting.com, the sportspage.blog, WRGG 93.7 FM, and WRGG.org. It's the power to make life better. It's the convenience of managing funds anytime, anywhere with mobile banking. Even better, it's the satisfaction of working with local pros who are more responsive and in tune with you. That's why today, 
more families and businesses are choosing FM Trust. So when you're ready to have banking done your way, visit any of FM Trust's 22 locations, all right here in South Central PA and online at fmtrust.bank. Member FDIC. You can count on Premier HVAC services for all your heating and cooling needs. Same day service, free estimates, 24 hour emergency services, price match guarantee, and free second opinions. Phone 717 597 9900 or visit us online at premierhvacpa.com. Premier HVAC services, the experience you deserve. Back underway here in the second quarter from Greencastle. JB with the basketball to start the second quarter. Greencastle outscoring the Rockets 14-13 in the first eight minutes. And a pass to Jace Piper, couldn't control it. And it took a step while he was bobbling the ball and called for the travel. Bobby Emerson back into the game for Greencastle. He replaces Eli Sterling. Here's Solomon with the basketball, drives the paint. A whistle and a travel called on Serzano Solomon. Turnover by the Blue Devils. We'll give the ball back to JB. 7.33 to go in the second quarter. Again, Greencastle with a 14-13 lead. Still scoreless here in the second quarter. Rockets with their second possession of the quarter. Far corner is Layton. Tough little jumper from 16 feet. Comes up short. Jackson Wright with the rebound for the Blue Devils. He gives it off to Emerson. Bobby Emerson across the timeline into the paint. Kicks it over to Solomon. Solomon to the elbow, gets it back to Connor Wright. Wright will back things up. He's guarded by Jace Piper. Wright looks to drive. Layup is up and good for Connor Wright. He has eight points in the game, leads all scores. Puts the Blue Devils back on top by three, 16-13. Greencastle with the lead. Piper looks to drive, almost ran into a teammate. Now gets it off to Layton, back to Piper. Now here's Trent Miller with the basketball. Far three corner three-point shot there won't fall for Amsley and the rebound pulled down by Greencastle. 6.30 to go in the second quarter. Blue Devils with the ball on a three-point lead. JB on a man-to-man -man defense. Connor Wright to the basket strong, misses the rim. Greencastle, or excuse me, Greencastle deflected the ball. Now the ball comes back to JB. Miller with the basketball for the Rockets. Comes near side to number 10, Trent Amsley. Amsley looks to drive the paint, gets it off to Piper. Left wing three, can't get it to fall. Scramble underneath for the rebound. And Blake Shadowen comes away with a loose ball for the Blue Devils. He's going to look to push it up one on four and loses it. And then a travel called on JB. And a timeout will be called by the Rockets. 60 second timeout. We'll take a break. 5.58 to go, second quarter. Greencastle leading it 16 13. You're listening to Blue Devil Basketball on the FM Trust Sports Network. MidpenBroadcasting.com, the sports page blog, WRGG 93.7 FM and WRGG.org. You can count on Premier HVAC services for all your heating and cooling needs. Same day service, free estimates, 24 hour emergency services, price match guarantee, and free second opinions. Phone 717 597 9900 or visit us online at premierhvacpa.com. Premier HVAC Services, the experience you deserve. Welcome back to Greencastle Antrim Senior High School. 5.58 to go in the second quarter. Greencastle with a 16-13 lead. Over James Buchanan, Blue Devils outscoring the Rockets 2-0 so far here in this second quarter. Both teams coming back out on the floor following the timeout. It will be Greencastle ball with Blake Shadowen to inbound it for the Blue Devils. He gets it into Connor Wright. Near corner, gets it back up top to Eli Sterling. Sterling will dribble between the circles, looks to drive almost 
lost possession, but it was able to keep the ball. Now JB almost gets a steal. Sterling gets it back. Sterling's going to drive, pass inside the Jackson right for the finish. Six points for Jackson Wright. Blue Devils extend the lead to 18-13. Amsley tried to lob it inside. Tough shot there by Jace Piper is good. Piper with his third basket of the night. He has seven points. Rockets back to within three, 18-15. Emerson looks to go coast to coast. Can't get it to fall. Jackson Wright kept it alive, but can't get his follow to go. And JB comes away with the rebound. Amsley with the basketball. Comes near side to number five, Dylan Swales, who's just checked into the game. Now back to Trent Miller. Miller, who's had a couple of threes from back there. Piper in the paint. Little runner with the left hand is good. Jace Piper, his second basket of the quarter, gets the Rockets back to within one. 18-17, Blue Devil lead. 4.40 to go. Here in quarter number two, Shadowen gets it to Eli Sterling. Sterling for three, a little strong. Sterling had the rebound, lost it. Ends up in the hands of Jace Piper. Now the left-hander Piper is going to try and go all the way down and score. So Jace Piper goes coast to coast with the spin move. Six straight points for Piper, and that gives the Rockets a 19-18 lead. And a 30-second timeout called by Blue Devil head coach Todd Stevens. So Jace Piper, who was relatively quiet in that first quarter, quarter, he now has 11 points in the game to give the Rockets a 19-18 lead. For the Blue Devils, Connor Wright has eight points. Jackson Wright with six. While Eli Sterling and Andrew Kearns each with two points so far this evening. Each team with four team fouls so far in the first half. No one in any real foul trouble. Bobby Emerson does have two for the Blue Devils. <coughs> Coming out of the timeout, Greencastle will have the basketball. Emerson across the timeline. Comes back near side to Shado and now to Connor Wright. Wright gets it to Sterling. Back to Wright. He's left alone at the top of the circle. Now goes near or far corner to Emerson. Emerson had the ball poked loose, goes out of bounds. Greencastle will keep possession as the Blue Devils will inbound it in front of the JB bench. They get it into Sterling. He looks to drive the paint. Tough left-handed shot there. Can't get it to fall. Jackson right in, or excuse me, yeah, Jackson right in traffic. Couldn't get the follow. Sterling came up with a loose basketball, but he was fouled. Foul will be on Cade Layton of the Rockets. His second foul. Blue Devils quickly inbound. Eli Sterling with the basketball. Gets it near side to Shadowen. Shadowen tried to get it inside the Jackson right now. Gets it around all the way to the far side to Emerson. Now here's Jackson right. Gets it to Connor right. Right far wing with the basketball. Bounce pass inside. Jackson right. Nice little move underneath the basket and scores. Jackson right with eight points on the game. And an official's timeout as they can, one of the officials talking to the scorer's table. And we're back ready to go. 3.28 to go, second quarter. Greencastle leading it 20 to 19. Blue Devils led by as many as six. The Rockets' biggest lead was one so far tonight. JB with the basketball. Trent Miller far side. Looks to come off a screen. Nothing there. Now Miller's going to go to Jace Piper. Piper's had the hot hand this quarter. His three comes up short. Jackson right with the rebound. Dishes it off to Eli Sterling. Sterling across the timeline. Now goes to Connor Wright. Wright's going to go down the baseline and score. Connor Wright into double digits. He has 10. Four straight points for the Blue Devils. And Greencastle back up on top, 22-19. Cade Layton tried to lob it inside to Piper. Ball was knocked free. Blue Devils come away with it. Shadowen tried to take it to the basket. Had it knocked out of his hands. Last touch by the Rockets. Greencastle will keep possession of the basketball. 
Up top, Eli Sterling goes far side to Emerson. Emerson guarded by Trent Miller. JB still in that man-to-man -man defense. Should Owen between the circles. Far side, Connor Wright. Wright guarded by Jace Piper. Wright looks to work his way inside. Tough little turnaround jumper. Can't get it to fall. And Cade Layton had an opportunity for a rebound, but the ball slips through his hands. And the Blue Devils catch a break there. They will get the ball back, leading by three. 22-19, Greencastle leading it. 2.13 to go in the quarter. Inside the Jackson right, a little right-handed scoop shot is up and good. Greencastle taking it inside against the Rockets tonight, having a great deal of success. They lead at 24-19, under two minutes to go. Swales goes far side to Hahn, now back to Miller, left alone for three. Trent Miller's three-point shot too strong, rebound pulled down by Connor Wright for the Blue Devils. Now Shadowen looks to drive. Little floater in the lane is good. Blue Devils with their biggest lead of the night, 26-19, a minute 30 to go in the second half or in the second quarter, excuse me. Piper looks to drive. Left-handed scoop shot won't fall. Rebound pulled down by Jackson Wright and a foul called on Jace Piper. A definite change in strategy for the Blue Devils here tonight. Greencastle, who quite frankly has not been a good three-point shooting team this year, looking to push the ball inside. Of the 12 baskets tonight for Greencastle, 10 of them have been twos. So it definitely looks like Greencastle looking to move away from a three-point shooting game. And it's worked tonight. Three second call called on Eli Sterling as he gave up the dribble in the paint. Was double teamed and ended up being called for three seconds. <coughs> Rockets get the basketball back, trailing 26 19. Greencastle's run off the last eight points to take the seven point lead, their biggest of the night. Shot by Hissong is blocked. James Buchanan able to get it back. Back inside to Hissong, nice little pump fake. He couldn't get it to fall. And the rebound pulled down by Connor right for the Blue Devils. Under a minute to go in the second quarter, Greencastle with the basketball. Connor right goes far side to Eli Sterling. Sterling back to Emerson. Sterling looks to drive. Cut off nicely there by the Rocket defense. Sterling able to find an open space. Can't get the shot to fall. Rebound pulled down by Trent Amsley. Rockets look to push the ball up the floor. Piper never really had control. Put the shot up, but he was fouled. Foul will be called on Blake Shadowen of the Blue Devils. That will send Jace Piper to the line. He will shoot two. Piper able to get that first shot to fall. Got the big bounce off the back of the rim. Piper with 12 points in the game. Serzano Solomon into the game for Greencastle. He'll replace Bobby Emerson. Second free throw for Piper is up and can't get it to fall. Rebound pulled down by Connor Wright for the Blue Devils. Greencastle with the ball, leading by six, under 20 seconds to go. Solomon goes far corner to Connor Wright. Wright's going to tell everybody to clear out. Now get it back to Solomon. Greencastle will apparently hold for one. Solomon with the basketball goes to Connor Wright. Wright looks to drive, trips over the foot of a Blue Devil player. Sterling will throw it up and almost score. But the buzzer sounds ending the second quarter. And the Greencastle Antrim Blue Devils will head to the locker room with a 26-20 lead over James Buchanan. We'll be back with a recap of the first half. You're listening to Blue Devil Basketball on the FNM Trust Sports Network. Midpenbroadcasting.com, the sports page blog, WRGG 93.7 FM and WRGG.org. Thank you,
your way. It's the power to make life better by working with local pros who are more in tune with you. When you're ready to have banking done your way, visit any of FNM Trust 22 locations, all here in South Central PA, and online at fmtrust.bank. Build something real at Manitowoc Cranes, located between Greencastle and Waynesboro in Shady Grove. Manitowoc employees enjoy a four-day work week, excellent pay, benefits beginning on day one, profit sharing, sign-on bonuses for experience, and pay while you learn training opportunities. With entry-level pay ranging from $18 to $25, join a team that builds the equipment that builds our communities and the world. Apply online today at manitowoc.com. Manitowoc is an equal opportunity employer. Turn your house into a home at Franklin Hardware and Pet Center. We specialize in pet supplies, lawn care, and hunting, camping, and fishing supplies. Franklin Hardware and Pet Center, 1975 Philadelphia Avenue, Chambersburg. Open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Phone 717-263-2624. Hi, this is Greg Weaver from Antrim Honda. Our award-winning service department is open and ready to take care of your automotive needs. From a simple oil change to a complete transmission replacement, our qualified technicians are ready to provide exceptional service to you that you've come to expect from Antrim Honda. Be assured that our enhanced cleaning procedures guarantee a safe visit to our dealership. We also offer free pickup and delivery to your home or office if that helps make life easier. Of course, we still offer free loaner cars, so if your repair takes a little longer, you can stay on track with your busy day. Antrim Honda is proud to offer a complete detailing center to keep your car spick and span, as well as a collision center to handle any body repairs you may need. You have trusted us with your vehicle repairs for more than 65 years. We thank you for your confidence in us and promise to continue to give you the same quality service that you've come to expect from Antrim Way Honda. Book your appointment online at AntrimHonda.com. Schedule an appointment today and see why Antrim Way Honda knows a better way. Antrim Way Honda knows a better way. Barn Quilt Trails are in 45 states in America, and the newest trail is in Franklin County, Pennsylvania. Follow the trail, the Stitches in Time Barn Quilt Trail. It is a great way to explore Franklin County any time of the year. Three dozen quilt squares hosted at more than two dozen sites, showcases of the charm of small towns, the beauty of farmland and forest, share stories of history, and commemorates family and friends. Visit ExploreFranklinCountyPA.com to view the guidebook online or download a copy. Contact 717-552-2977 if you would like a copy mailed. It's a great way to explore Franklin County, PA. Mondor Pharmacy in St. Thomas and Mercersburg and McLaughlin's Drugstore of McConnellsburg, your friendly neighborhood pharmacy. Free delivery and drive through at all three locations. We carry Willow Tree products as well as other gift items. Mondor Pharmacy of St. Thomas and Mercersburg and McLaughlin's Drugstore of McConnellsburg. Open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Saturday, 9 a.m to 3 p.m. And welcome back to Greencastle Antrim Senior High School. We are at the half of this evening's Mid-Pen Conference Colonial Division matchup between the Greencastle Antrim Blue Devils and the James Buchanan Rockets. Greencastle leading 26 to 20 at the half. Blue Devils outscoring the Rockets 12-7 in that second quarter. Greencastle this evening led in scoring by Connor Wright and Jackson Wright. They have 10 points apiece for the Blue Devils. Eli Sterling, Blake Shadowen, and Andrew Kearns each have two for the Blue Devils. As we were saying during the second quarter, Greencastle looking to change up the offensive strategy here a bit tonight, taking the ball inside against the Rockets with a great deal of success. Again, Greencastle came into the game struggling from shooting beyond the three-point line, shooting around 27, 28%, if I remember correctly. But tonight, all but two of the Blue Devils baskets coming from inside the three-point line. 20 points for the Rockets again in the first quarter. They were led. 
by Jace Piper. Piper with 12 points in the game for the Rockets. Trent Miller and Cade Layton each with two points for James Buchanan. Other action tonight in the Mid-Pen Conference Colonial Division. Greencastle girls on the road at James Buchanan. We'll try and get an update on that score for you if we can. Also, Waynesboro. The Waynesboro boys on the road against Big Spring. Waynesboro girls at home against Big Spring. Once again, we'll try and get some scores for you and get those out to you before we go off the air here this evening. Blue Devil girls will be back in action tomorrow night right here at home. They are scheduled to face McConnellsburg. That's a game we plan on bringing to you live on WRGG 93.7 FM. Also streaming live at midpenbroadcasting.com. Tip-off for that game tomorrow night between the Blue Devil Girls and McConnellsburg is tentatively scheduled for 7.30. As we said, we're at halftime here for Greencastle Blue Devils. With one of their best first halves of the season, they lead James Buchanan by a score of 26-20. We're going to take a break, and we will be back with the start of the second half of tonight's game between the Blue Devils and the Rockets. You're listening to Greencastle Antrim Blue Devil Basketball on the FNM Trust Sports Network, midpenbroadcasting.com, the sportspage.blog, WRGG 93.7 FM, and WRGG.org. It's the power to make life better by working with local pros who are more in tune with you. When you're ready to have banking done your way, visit any of FM Trust's 22 locations, all here in South Central PA, and online at fmtrust.bank. Build something real at Manitowoc Cranes, located between Greencastle and Waynesboro in Shady Grove. Manitowoc employees enjoy a four-day work week, excellent pay, benefits beginning on day one, profit sharing, sign-on bonuses for experience, and pay while you learn training opportunities. With entry-level pay ranging from $18 to $25, join a team that builds the equipment that builds our communities and the world. Apply online today at manitowoc.com. Manitowoc is an equal opportunity employer. Turn your house into a home at Franklin Hardware and Pet Center. We specialize in pet supplies, lawn care, and hunting, camping, and fishing supplies. Franklin Hardware and Pet Center, 1975 Philadelphia Avenue, Chambersburg. Open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Phone 717-263-2624. Hi, this is Greg Weaver from Antrim Honda. Our award-winning service department is open and ready to take care of your automotive needs. From a simple oil change to a complete transmission replacement, our qualified technicians are ready to provide exceptional service to you that you've come to expect from Antrim Honda. Be assured that our enhanced cleaning procedures guarantee a safe visit to our dealership. We also offer free pickup and delivery to your home or office if that helps make life easier. Of course, we still offer free loaner cars, so if your repair takes a little longer, you can stay on track with your busy day. Antrim Honda is proud to offer a complete detailing center to keep your car spick and span, as well as a collision center to handle any body repairs you may need. You have trusted us with your vehicle repairs for more than 65 years. We thank you for your confidence in us and promise to continue to give you the same quality service that you've come to expect from Antrimway Honda. Book your appointment online at AntrimHonda.com. Schedule an appointment today and see why Antrimway Honda knows a better way. Antrimway Honda knows a better way. Antrimway Honda knows a better way. Green Castle Eye Care Center has been the area's premier eye care provider since 1984. Dr. Sandra Fink Freeman and Dr. Charlie Parsons provide comprehensive eye exams, including medical eye exams and contact lens fittings for patients from age one to over 100. The office has a complete optical department with a wide variety of frames for adults and children. Conveniently located in the John Grove Medical Center off Exit 5 along I-81, Greencastle Eye Care Center is your family eye care provider. Always accepting new patients. Call us at 717-597-7708. Third quarter underway from Greencastle Blue Devils with the basketball as we start things off here in quarter number three. And a travel called on the Blue Devils. Ball will be turned back over to James Buchanan. Greencastle with a 26-20 lead 
As we start the third quarter again, the Blue Devils outscoring the Rockets 12-7 in that second quarter. And there's the mistake by the Rockets. Ball goes through the hands of Jace Piper out of bounds. So we start the third quarter off with back-to-back -back turnovers. Just underway, third quarter, 7.38 to go. Blue Devils with the ball and a six-point lead. Connor Wright, three-point shot won't go. Nice offensive rebound by Sterling. And Eli Sterling with the follow. He has four points, and the Blue Devils with their biggest lead of the night, eight points. 28-20, Greencastle leads. Hahn tried to drive into the paint, lost possession as he went to the floor. Ball goes out of bounds, and it will belong to Greencastle. So two possessions for the Rockets here in this second half, two turnovers. As they look to get back into this, trailing by eight, Emerson tried to drive, had his shot blocked. James Buchanan comes away with the loose basketball. Trent Miller with the ball, looks to drive. Tough little runner down the lane is good. Trent Miller with six points. Rockets get it back to within six. Now Connor Wright's gonna try a little reverse layup, can't get it to fall. And a foul will be called on the Blue Devils. <coughs> Connor Wright, I believe, will be the guilty party. He is his first foul of the game. Team foul number one for the Blue Devils here in the second half. As we are 80 seconds into the third quarter. Rockets with the ball, trailing 28-22. Near side with the basketball is Garrett Hahn. Hahn tried to drive. Connor Wright knocked it free, but James Buchanan able to come up with it. Now Trent Amsley tries to drive. He lost possession. The ball went out of bounds, and Greencastle will get possession. Third turnover of the half for James Buchanan. The Devils with the ball, leading 28-22, 6.15 to go in the third quarter. Emerson looks about to go inside to Jackson Wright. He does. Wright tries to back his way in. Now turns and hits the short turnaround in the paint. Jackson Wright with 12 points. He leads all scorers and the Blue Devils back out to an eight-point lead. 30-22 to 22, Blue Devils with the lead. Three-point attempt there by Trent Miller won't fall. Nice rebound there by Jackson Wright for the Blue Devils. He gets it off to Bobby Emerson. Emerson quickly up the floor, gets it to Shadowen. Blake Shadowen tries to go through a defender, but he'll be called for the travel. So the travel called on Blake Shadowen will give the ball back to the Rockets. JB with the basketball. Garrett Hahn guarded by Blake Shadowen. Bounce pass near or far side to Jace Piper. Now Miller with the basketball on the far wing. Miller looks to drive, bounce pass inside to Piper. Piper, a little left-handed hook shot, won't fall. Rebound pulled down by Jackson Wright for the Blue Devils. Now oh, Emerson quickly up the floor, gets it off to Connor Wright. Easy little layup by Connor Wright as he goes around a rocket defender. Connor Wright with 12 points in the game and a timeout will be called by James Buchanan. 60-second timeout. We'll take a break. 5.08 to go third quarter. Blue Devils with their biggest lead of the night. 32-22 over James Buchanan. You're listening to Blue Devil Basketball on the FNM Trust Sports Network. MidPenBroadcasting.com, the sports page.blog. WRGG 93.7 FM and WRGG.org. These ask for applicants with experience. But where do you get that experience unless somebody gives you a job? Let the U.S. Air Force help. We offer comprehensive job training in over 140 specialties, and we're willing to help pay for the cost of your education to finish your degree. You'll gain unmatched experience for your untapped potential with the United States Air Force. For more information, please contact Sergeant Sear at 717-480-7254. This message was brought to you by the U.S. Air Force in collaboration with Penn Broadcasting. <laughs> Welcome back to Greencastle Antrim Senior High School. 5.08 to go, third quarter. Blue Devils with their biggest lead of the evening, 32-22 over James Buchanan. The Rockets will have the basketball coming out of the timeout. They will inbound the ball directly in front of us. Greencastle outscoring James Buchanan 6-2 so far in the third quarter. 
Ball inbounded to Trent Miller. He goes far side to Garrett Hahn. Hahn comes up top to Amsley, now near side to Miller. Get it back to Hahn, work it around to Cade Piper. Piper looks inside, sees nothing, now gets it off to Jace Piper. Back to Layton, now bounce pass inside to Piper. Nice little runner by Jace Piper is good. Piper with 14 points in the game. JB gets it back to within eight. Blue Devils, nice pass inside. Jackson right able to get the reverse layup to fall. And again, Greencastle scoring most of their points in the paint tonight. Seeing Greencastle go away from that three-point strategy. Definitely working in the Blue Devils' favor this evening. They lead by 10, 420 to go in the third quarter. Rockets with the basketball. Trent Miller looks to go inside, now gets it over to Cade Layton. Layton goes far side to Piper, now back to Miller. Miller looks to drive left hand, kicks it off near wing. Piper for three is good. Or excuse me, Cade Layton. Cade Layton with the three. And the Rockets get back to within seven, 34-27. Greencastle with the lead and the basketball. 3.50 to go in the third quarter. <coughs> Jackson Wright has it, takes it to the basket for the dunk. 16 points for Jackson Wright. Blue Devils back up by nine and a shot underneath there by Layton. As Cade Layton quickly on the other end scores. Gets the Rockets back to within seven. Lob inside, Eli Sterling left all alone. He has the easy two. So Eli Sterling coming off the screen with the easy basket. He has six points in the game. Blue Devils extend the lead back to nine. Connor Wright almost poked it free. Ball still in play. Now Piper with the basketball. JB had a little bit of an advantage there. Three point shot by Hahn is good. Garrett Hahn. His first basket of the night is a three. And that gets the Rockets back to within six, 38-32. Greencastle with the lead. Jackson right far corner. Gets it back to Shadow and now near side to Emerson. He thought about a three. Now goes to Connor Wright, comes up empty. Now Shadow and got the rebound. Now Sterling gets it back. Third opportunity for Greencastle. Wright will try another three and hit that. So Greencastle outworking JB on the offensive rebound, on the offensive boards. And a loose ball in front of the JB bench and a foul called on the Blue Devils. Bobby Emerson called for the foul, his third. Now JB with the ball, Miller looks to drive, shot blocked by Jackson Wright. Blue Devils look to attack on the other end. Connor Wright has his shot blocked. As Cade Layton got a hand on that. Now Jackson Wright with the steal. And Greencastle will reset the offense. Under two minutes to go in the third quarter. Blue Devils with a 41-32 lead. Sterling in traffic gets the shot to fall. We saw Greencastle run that offense against West Perry with Eli Sterling in the middle. He's able to create a lot of shots inside. West Perry couldn't stop it. JB struggling to stop it tonight. Here's Jace Piper lets it fly for three. Can't get it to fall. And with one minute, 20 seconds to go in the third quarter, the Blue Devils lead it 43-32. And Greencastle will spread the floor here. Sterling looks to drive, puts up the shot and scores. And again, another basket in the paint for the Blue Devils. Everything coming from inside for Greencastle tonight, just three made three-pointers. Everything else coming from inside the paint. Greencastle with their biggest lead, 45-32. Three-point shot by Cade Layton comes up empty, rebound. Pulled down by Garrett Hahn, he lost it. Blue Devils come away with a loose basketball. Emerson looks to run the floor. He can't get the shot to fall, but he is fouled. So Emerson will go to the line to shoot two.
Cade Layton called for the foul. Emerson's first free throw is good. First point of the night for Bobby Emerson as Ethan Shank makes his first appearance in the game for Greencastle. Second free throw opportunity for Emerson. Can't get it to fall. Battle underneath for the rebound. Jace Piper comes away with it for James Buchanan. Piper on the other end called for the charge. As Ethan Shank in position there on the defensive end. As the Blue Devils draw their second charge of the night. Serzano Solomon into the game for Greencastle. He'll replace Bobby Emerson. Under 25 seconds to go, third quarter. Greencastle with the basketball, leading by 14. Steal by Cade Layton. Layton had it knocked loose, but a foul will be called on the Blue Devils. Serzano Solomon called for the reach. His first foul of the game, just the third team foul for Greencastle. And the Rockets are going to throw it almost into the backcourt, but Cade Layton able to chase it down at the half court line. Down to 12 seconds to go in the quarter. Rockets looking for the final shot here. Miller gets it off to Layton. Now Piper's going to have to force up a three, and he knocks that down as the horn sounds. So Jace Piper just beating the, the buzzer with the three. And Greencastle will head into the fourth quarter with a 46-35 lead over the Rockets. We'll take a break. We'll be back with the start of the fourth quarter. You're listening to Blue Devil Basketball on the FNM Trust Sports Network, midpenbroadcasting.com, the sportspage.blog, WRGG 93.7 FM, and WRGG.org. Hi, this is Greg Weaver from Antrimony Honda. Our award-winning service department is open and ready to take care of your automotive needs. From a simple oil change to a complete transmission replacement, our qualified technicians are ready to provide exceptional service to you that you've come to expect from Antrimony Honda. Be assured that our enhanced cleaning procedures guarantee a safe visit to our dealership. We also offer free pickup and delivery to your home or office if that helps make life easier. Of course, we still offer free loaner cars, so if your repair takes a little longer, you can stay on track with your busy day. Antrimony Honda is proud to offer a complete detailing center to keep your car spick and span, as well as a collision center to handle any body repairs you may need. You have trusted us with your vehicle repairs for more than 65 years. We thank you for your confidence in us and promise to continue to give you the same quality service that you've come to expect from Antrimway Honda. Book your appointment online at AntrimHonda.com. Schedule an appointment today and see why Antrimway Honda knows a better way. Antrimway Honda knows a better way. Fourth quarter underway here from Greencastle. Trent Miller with the short jumper. Gets the Rockets back to within nine. 46-37, Greencastle outscoring. James Buchanan 20-15 in that third quarter. Inside the Jackson Wright, and he will score again. Jackson Wright with 18 points, dominating the Rockets underneath. Now Miller left alone for three, rims in and out. Scramble for the loose ball, Sterling had it. Now lost it to Miller. Chase Piper, three-point shot. Can't get that to go. And Emerson with the rebound for the Blue Devils. Quickly on the other end, Sterling's going to go all the way and get the finish. 12 points for Eli Sterling on the other end. Amsley a little bit out of control, able to get the ball back. Now a three-point shot on the way for Layton. Comes up empty, and the Blue Devils come away with the basketball. 6.45 to go in regulation. Greencastle with a 13-point lead, 50-37. to Shadowen tries to go to the basket. He is fouled. Foul will be called on Trent Miller of the Rockets, his first foul of the game. Timeout called by the Blue Devils. Or excuse me, called by the Rockets. 32nd timeout. So we will stay right here. Greencastle led by the big three tonight of Jackson Wright, Connor Wright, and Eli Sterling. They have 45 of the Blue Devils' 50 points this evening. 
As Greencastle looking to avoid the season sweep by James Buchanan. Rockets winning the first two games, winning at the Franklin County tip-off tournament on December 10th, winning at home 71-49 back on December 17th. And the Blue Devils here tonight at home in a good spot as they lead it by 13 with 6.38 to go in the fourth quarter. And Blake Shadowin to go to the line looking to make it a 15-point Blue Devil lead. First free throw is up and good. Shadowin with three points tonight. Second opportunity here for the junior. He knocks, no, it comes up a little short, can't get it to fall. Jabe Buchanan couldn't get possession and Shadowin came away with the loose basketball. <laughs> he tried to get it to Connor Wright, ball goes off Wright's fingertips and out of bounds. Turnover back to James Buchanan. Rockets trailing 51-37, 6.20 to go. Trent Miller tried to drive down the lane, couldn't finish. Rebound pulled down by the Blue Devils. Emerson up the far side, goes to Sterling. Sterling looks to drive. Now he'll back it out, go back far side to Emerson. Up top to Sterling. Sterling right-handed dribble in the paint. Little floater with the left hand is good. Eli Sterling with 14 points, all of them coming from in about an eight-foot range of the basket. Shot there by JB, can't get it to fall. Sterling tries to save it. Loose ball comes down to Garrett Hahn. Now he gets it over inside to Miller. Miller's short jumper won't fall, but he is fouled. Greencastle with 24 field goals tonight, 21 of them. Coming from inside the three-point line, and most of those in the paint. As Miller knocks down the first free throw. He has nine points, looking to make it ten. Can't get that to fall. Rebound pulled down by Jackson Wright for the Blue Devils. Gets it off to Emerson. He almost lost it. And then I think we're going to have a double dribble called on the Blue Devils. So the ball will go back to James Buchanan, 5.37 to go here in the fourth quarter. Blue Devils with a 15-point lead. And now a technical foul will be called on Bobby Emerson. Didn't see exactly what he did happen in front of us, but the official with the quick whistle and the technical foul called. So James Buchanan will send Trent Miller to the free throw line to shoot the two technical free throws. And then of course the Rockets will get the ball back as Miller hits the first. Trent Miller in double digits, he has 10 points in the game. Second free throw opportunity is good for Miller. He makes both of the technical free throws. And now the Rockets will inbound the ball in front of us. 5.36 to go in the fourth quarter. Greencastle still leading by 13, 53-40. Rockets with the ball. Trent Miller guarded by Solomon. Miller looks to take it to the basket, gets it off to Layton, who blocked the shot and then had the ball go off his hand out of bounds. So Greencastle will get the ball. Break for the Blue Devils as they get the ball back. Lob it inside to Jackson Wright. He's going to try and back his way in. Again, tough little shot there. Somebody from JB may have got a hand on that shot as it came up short. Rockets take possession of the basketball. Piper near wing. Thought about a three, now drives. A floater in the paint can't get it to fall. Jackson Wright with the rebound. Gets it off to Solomon. Solomon will bring it down the right side of the court. Bounce pass to Connor Wright near wing. Right guarded by Cade Layton, now goes all the way across to Shadowin. Shadowin looks to drive, now backs out. And a foul will be called on Trent Miller for a hand check. Yeah. 
Second foul on Miller. Fourth team foul for the Rockets. Greencastle with five team fouls. Down to 440 to go in regulation. Sterling looks to drive a whistle before the shot. So Greencastle will inbound from in front of their own bench. Rocket foul called on Trent Amsley. His second. Inbound to Sterling. He finds an open space. Tough shot goes for Eli Sterling. And he has yet another layup. 16 for Sterling in the game. Blue Devils by 15. Now a long range three by Amsley comes up short. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Blue Devils. <laughs> Inbound to Piper. He thought about a three. Now tries to go in traffic. Connor Wright got a hand on that. And Blake Shadowen comes down with a loose ball for Greencastle. Shadowen blows by a couple of Rocket defenders. Gets it off to Jackson Wright, who scores and is fouled. Fourth foul on Cade Layton and a James Buchanan timeout. 60-second timeout. We'll take a break. 4.06 to go. Blue Devils in control of this one. They lead at 57-40 over James Buchanan. You're listening to Blue Devil Basketball on the FNM Trust Sports Network. MidPenBroadcasting.com, the sportspage.blog, WRGG 93.7 FM and WRGG.org. Build something real at Manitowoc Cranes, located between Greencastle and Waynesboro in Shady Grove. Manitowoc employees enjoy a four-day work week, excellent pay, benefits beginning on day one, profit sharing, sign-on bonuses for experience, and pay while you learn training opportunities. With entry-level pay ranging from $18 to $25, join a team that builds the equipment that builds our communities and the world. Apply online today at manitowoc.com. Manitowoc is an equal opportunity employer. Welcome back to Greencastle Antrim Senior High School. Four minutes, six seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Greencastle in control of this one. They lead at 57-40 over James Buchanan. Jackson Wright at the line. Shot won't go. Scramble underneath for the rebound. Jace Piper able to secure the loose ball for the Rockets. He gives it off to Trent Miller. Under four minutes to go. Rockets need some points in a hurry. Piper with the basketball gets it back to Miller. Miller now comes near side to Cade Layton. Layton looks to drive and a nice finish by Layton. He has 11 points in the game. Gets the Rockets back to within 15. Now Connor Wright bumping along with Jace Piper. No, no whistle there as both Players were bouncing off one another and right with the basket. 59-42. Trent Miller thought about a long three. Now goes over to Piper, or excuse me, to Layton. Layton now to Piper. Piper looks to drive through the Greencastle zone. Gets it back to Layton for three. Can't get it to fall. And the rebound pulled down by Shadowen for the Blue Devils. Rocket struggling here from beyond the three-point line. As they trail by 17, under three minutes to go in this one. Drive inside by Sterling, can't get it to fall. Greencastle keeps it alive. Now Shadowen has it come free along the sideline, goes out of bounds. And the ball will be turned over to the Rockets. Solomon almost had a steal, but James Buchanan comes away with a loose basketball. Hamsley with it. He'll let it fly from the top of the key. Misses far left. And Jackson Wright with the easy rebound for the Blue Devils. The top and thought about a three, but now he'll back things off. Go far side to Sterling. Sterling will pull it out. 2.20 to go in the game. Greencastle with a 17-point lead. Sterling's going to drive. Dribbled it off his foot. Ball comes free. Shadowen. 
ends up with the loose ball and a timeout called by the Blue Devils. 60 second timeout called by Greencastle. We'll take a break. Final 212 to come. Blue Devils in control, 59 42. You're listening to Blue Devil Basketball on the FNM Trust Sports Network, midpenbroadcasting.com, the sports page.blog, WRGG 93.7 FM, and WRGG.org. Lincoln done your way. It's the power to make life better. It's the convenience of managing funds anytime, anywhere with mobile banking. Even better, it's the satisfaction of working with local pros who are more responsive and in tune with you. That's why today, more families and businesses are choosing FM Trust. So when you're ready to have banking done your way, visit any of FM Trust's 22 locations, all right here in South Central PA, and online at fmtrust.bank. Member FDIC. Welcome back to Greencastle Antrim Senior High School. Final two minutes and 12 seconds of this one. As the Blue Devils appear on their way to win number five of the season, it'll be their third in a row. As they will also avoid the season sweep to James Buchanan. Rockets looking to foul here. As under approaching two minutes to go, Greencastle is just content to run down some time off the clock as Shadowen will back things out. Comes near side to Sterling, now far corner inside to Jackson Wright. He'll shoot and score. James Buchanan, absolutely no answer tonight for Jackson Wright underneath. He has 22 points. Most of those coming on layups and easy short jumpers. Quick timeout call, Greencastle will make some substitutions. Bobby Emerson, Eli Shank into the game. Dylan Swales into the game for James Buchanan along with number three, Tanner Salovich. Minute 45 to go. JB with the basketball trailing by 19. Layton goes to Swales. Now over to number 24, Bryce Hissong, who's back into the game. Up top to Layton, near side to number 24, Hissong. Gets it back to Hahn. Garrett Hahn tries to drive. He's unsuccessful, but he is fouled. Logan Alvey will check into the game for Greencastle here. Alvey will come in here after this free throw. Hans free throw attempt misses. As Adam Horst making his first appearance. Checks into the game. Logan Alvey also back into the game. Second free throw attempt coming for Hahn. He can't get it to fall. So he's 0 for 2 from the line. Greencastle pulls down the rebound. And the Blue Devils again appear to be on their way to win number 5 on the season. They will improve their record. To three and six in the Mid Pen Conference Colonial Division. JB, who came into the game as the number 11 seed in the 4A power rankings, needing a victory tonight to try and get into the top 10 to qualify for the postseason. This certainly won't help their cause with a loss tonight. Foul called on Cade Layton. That'll be his fifth, so he will foul out. Layton will leave the game with 11 points on the night as Jimmy Bell will check into the game for James Buchanan with his, for his first appearance. Free throw by Horst is not good. Greencastle is in the bonus. On the other end, three-point shot there by Hahn. Can't get it to fall. He gets his own rebound. Now Salovich with the basketball for the Rockets. Comes near side to Bell. Bell drives, kicks it off. Three-point shot there by Swales is no good. Rebound pulled down by Jackson Wright and a foul called on. Actually, they're going to say Jackson Wright committed the foul. Jackson Wright will leave the game. He has 22 points. He's replaced by Andrew Kearns. Free throw by Hissong comes up short. 
Ball goes out of bounds, last touched by the Blue Devils. Final 45 seconds of this one as Derek, or excuse me, Drew Krause checks into the game for JB. All five starters for the Rockets now out. Greencastle with one starter left. Bobby Emerson still in the game for Greencastle. Ball lost by the Rockets. Ethan Shank comes away with it for Greencastle. On the other end, that's Andrew Kearns with the basketball. He's going to come near side to Shank, now to Horst. Down to 25 seconds. See if Greencastle will take a shot here in this final half minute. Emerson now will hold the ball. Not really pressured on defense, so he will just slowly dribble out the clock. Now gets it over to Alfie. And Alvi will just stand in front of the bench, a few dribbles, and that'll be the game as Greencastle comes away with a 61-42 victory as the fans storm the court for some reason. <laughs> the win will improve the Blue Devils' record again to 5-10 on the season, 3-6 in the Mid-Pen Conference Colonial Division. We'll take a break and be back to wrap things up. The Blue Devils victorious tonight over James Buchanan. The final score, 61-42. We'll be back after this. You're listening to Blue Devil Basketball on the FNM Trust Sports Network. Midpenbroadcasting.com, the sportspage.blog, WRGG 93.7 FM and WRGG.org. Done your way. It's the power to make life better. It's the convenience of managing funds anytime, anywhere with mobile banking. Even better, it's the satisfaction of working with local pros who are more responsive and in tune with you. That's why today, more families and businesses are choosing FM Trust. So when you're ready to have banking done your way, visit any of FM Trust's 22 locations, all right here in South Central PA and online at fmtrust.bank. Member FDIC. People say I'm too serious. Those funny ads for car insurance do nothing for me. I like Erie Insurance. It's seriously good. A great rate, legendary service, accident forgiveness. Not one, but eight reasons to switch. Woohoo! See, I can get as excited as the next guy. Your local Erie agent is Antrim Insurance Agency, 717-593-0500, or visit AntrimInsurancePA.com. Build something real at Manitowoc Cranes, located between Greencastle and Waynesboro in Shady Grove. Manitowoc employees enjoy a four-day work week, excellent pay, benefits beginning on day one, profit sharing, sign-on bonuses for experience, and pay while you learn training opportunities. With entry-level pay ranging from $18 to $25, join a team that builds the equipment that builds our communities and the world. Apply online today at manitowoc.com. Manitowoc is an equal opportunity employer. Most companies ask for applicants with experience. But where do you get that experience unless somebody gives you a job? Let the U.S. Of Jackson Wright, Eli Sterling, and Connor Wright. Jackson Wright leading the way with 22 points in the game. Connor Wright with 17. And Eli Sterling with 16. Interestingly enough for the Blue Devils tonight, we saw Greencastle go away from the three-point shoot, the three-point shot, where they've struggled throughout the first half of the season. Tonight, the Blue Devils made 28 field goals. 25 of those were two, and just three were three-point shots. And if I remember correctly, I think the Blue Devils took one three in the second half. So Greencastle dominating inside against the Rockets as they roll to a 61-42 victory for the Rockets this evening. Three players in double digits. Chase Piper leading the way for James Buchanan. He had 17. Trent Miller had 11 points in the game. Also, Cade Layton, who fouled out late in the fourth quarter, also contributing 11 points in the game. Other scores for the Blue Devils tonight. Blake Shadowen had three. Andrew Kearns, two. And Bobby Emerson with one point. Other scores for the Rockets tonight consisted solely of Garrett Hahn. Hahn with three points in the loss for JB. We're going to take one final 30-second break, and we'll be back to wrap things up. You're listening to Blue Devil Basketball on the FNM Trust Sports Network. MidPenBroadcasting.com, the sports page.blog, 
WRGG 93.7 FM and WRGG.org. You can count on Premier HVAC services for all your heating and cooling needs. Same day service, free estimates, 24 hour emergency services, price match guarantee, and free second opinions. Phone 717 597 9900 or visit us online at premierhvacpa.com. Premier HVAC Services, the experience you deserve. Once again, welcome back to Greencastle Antrim Senior High School as we wrap things up here on a Tuesday night. Basketball matchup, Blue Devils and the Rockets, Greencastle. Jumped out to a 14-13 lead after the first quarter, took control from there as they rolled to a 19-point victory over James Buchanan, 61 42 Blue Devils will have a couple days off before they return to action on Friday on the road against Northern York. That will start a string of three consecutive road games for the Blue Devils in the Mid-Pen Conference Colonial Division. Greencastle will be again at Northern York Friday. They'll return to action the following Tuesday against Boiling Springs before playing a, what should be a challenging game on the road a week from Friday at Shippensburg. Our next broadcast on WRGG and MidPenBroadcasting.com scheduled for tomorrow as the Blue Devil girls will be at home for a non-conference game. They will host McConnellsburg tomorrow night and we will be here live with you bringing you that game. Tip-off tentatively scheduled for 7.30 and we will be here with the pregame show getting underway sometime around 7.10 or 7.15 depending on how the computer works out for us. And that'll wrap things up tonight from Greencastle. Blue Devils again victorious over James Buchanan. Our final score, Greencastle 61, James Buchanan 42. For Matt Rock running the camera, for Mid-Pen Broadcasting, I'm John Freeman. Have yourself a wonderful evening, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow night for Blue Devil Girls Basketball. Game on Midpen Broadcasting is brought to you by f and Trust. If your banking relationship feels too distant lately, switch to f and Trust. f and Trust is local and makes sure banking is done your way every day. Learn more at ffstrustonline.com. Member FDIC. Antrim Insurance, your local Erie insurance agent serving Greek Castle, Waynesboro, Chambersburg, Mercersburg, and surrounding Pennsylvania and Maryland areas. Manitowoc, join a team that builds the equipment that builds our communities and the world. Franklin County Visitors Bureau, your great moments are waiting in Franklin County. Antrim Way Honda, 200 South Antrim Way, Greek Castle. Antrim Way Honda knows a better way. United States Air Force, aim high. Make a living with a career that makes the difference. The U.S. Air Force. Del Martin Incorporated, a full service advertising agency serving the tri-state area for over 40 years. Chippensburg Physical Therapy, with offices in Chippensburg, Greencastle, Waitsboro, and Newville, specializing in orthopedic and sports-related injuries. Greencastle Eye Care Center, a leading provider of optometry services and vision care products in the Greencastle community since 1984. Premier HVAC Services of Greencastle, the experience you deserve. The Sports Page, your source for Franklin County Sports, is at the sportspage.blog. Franklin Hardware and Pet Center, 1975 Philadelphia Avenue, Chambersburg. Morris Band, founded by educators for educators. Visit Greek Castle representative Jeff Coons, 116 South Antrim Way, uh, Greek Castle. Antrim Diesel Service, we're ready to service all your diesel needs, providing everything from state inspections to complete repair of diesel-powered vehicles. Olympian Athletics, 55 West Bay Street, Waynesboro. Let us outfit your team with uniforms, warm-up hats, and so much more. Bondor Pharmacy of St. Thomas and Mercersburg and McLaughlin's Drugstore of McConnellsburg. 
and by Clyde Tours, visit ClydeTours.net for complete tour schedule.